Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making a vlog of my trip to the Olympic trials. I'm super excited because the girls were supposed to come to Connecticut, which is where I'm from, to do classics, but it ended up getting moved, I think, to Indianapolis, right? I'm pretty sure that's where they did classics. So I wasn't able to go to the competition and I was super upset, but I decided, do you know what? I'm just gonna go to trials because it's gonna be super exciting because no one knows exactly who's gonna be on the team. I mean, we know Simone, and then probably Jordan and Suni. And then who's the fourth person could be? I don't know. I'm gonna predict that it's gonna be Grace and Callum. I'm kind of biased because Grace is like my one of my favorite gymnasts. That's my prediction. If Michaela makes the team, I will be so happy because I have been following her journey, like her YouTube channel. And yeah, like I love Michaela. I'm so excited to see her compete. Individuals is Jade and then I predict Riley for bars, like that's what most people think as well. And then for alternates, Michaela, Kayla, and Leanne. That's my prediction. I'm probably wrong. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. I just got to the hotel room and I'm super excited because first of all, this hotel is super cool. I think I'm gonna do like a little uh, hotel tour after I film this because I wanna show you guys. It's like really big and there's a balcony and yeah, I was like not expecting it to be so nice. It's Friday today, day one competition is tonight. I cannot wait. I flew out of Connecticut this morning at 7.45 a.m. and it was my first time flying by myself so i was pretty nervous but i made it here i'm alive and i cannot wait to see the girls to my predictions i forgot to say this i want to add emma malabuyo to my list of alternates michaela just posted a new video on her youtube channel and i'm like bro i'm like so close to you right now that's so cool i'm gonna film a little tour of my hotel room, get food, and then I'm gonna go to the competition. After the competition tonight, I'll do like a little recap of what happened. I'm going to do a tour of this room. Okay, you guys, so I'm filming this on my phone because it's just easier. So look at how big this is. There's like TV, like kind of like a living room. And then there's a desk over here, mirror, and then this is the view it's like you can see the other rooms and there's like a balcony and a little courtyard and then here is the bed look at how big this is it's so it's so nice i see like i seriously want to live here um and then if we go over here there's like this is like the kitchen area so um mini fridge microwave and sink and then over here is the bathroom. So there's like a nice big mirror and then a full size mirror. And here's the bathroom. So yeah, I love this hotel. It's called OYO or OYO. I don't know how to say it, but I definitely recommend that you guys stay here if you come to St. Louis. So I'm on my way to the competition right now, day one. I'm so excited, so let's go. Okay, 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 got marijuana all in my palms. Got honey mustard all in my jeans. Got bass guys slapping in my car. Whole block yelling for KD. Got a list full of all my wrongs. Tryna run it for my guy, take me. Got a scraper and I'm ready, rolling hella fucking heavy through the city, screaming, forgive me. Got commas coming, you can bet on that. Used to run around, let my headphones slap. Used to hit them licks with all my friends and them. My big homie pawn that shit, then we split that cash. Used to sit in back, send a text like, hey, take a pic of that, send that shit my way. Used to top a game like bitch from my 
my fate, but I'm soft as fuck. You know my ass got late. The fuck I let go, God, please call him a mom. She give me them whoopings when I get her home. Like I didn't just get my ass beat at the park, but this cool swear it's cool. I get learned that one month that she come to the shows and take shots with the fans. Got licked from the belt when got caught with the grams. Now I burn them with confidence on my porch, cause I'm home and I'm grown and I do it all for a second. I'm coming home. Make a place for me. Let the love inside. Take the hate in me. Father, forgive me. Father, father, for my ways. If yesterday was wrong, I write them down today. I'm coming home. Make a place for me. Let the love inside. Take the hate in me. Father, forgive me. Father, father, for my ways. If yesterday was wrong, I write them down today. If I die before I wake, if I go before you do, pray to God my family straight up. Pass them down the house or two. My grandson know his papa was a fucking legend in these streets. They play me out apartment window, soundtrack every metro seat. Top of tea, selling my popcorn. Ride around still calling shotgun. Never really get a homie's gas money, but I'm whipping now and screaming out of. Gonna be hoes at them shows in the boat for the lake. Ah, damn. So oh. I just got back from day one. Michaela was so, so, so amazing. Every single routine she did, oh my gosh, yes, you are doing everything perfect she had such a good meet i know this video is coming out after the results already happened but girl you just need to do this one more time and you guys it was so amazing going to the competition in real life so much better than seeing it on tv because i've never seen any of these girls competing in real life i've just been watching them on a screen so much and it was amazing to like be in the same room as them. Seriously, these girls are so freaking, it's amazing what they do. Like they're so cool, they are so cool. I do feel bad for Leanne because she messed up pretty badly on Beam. She did really great for the rest of the competition, which is awesome, and she still has another day. Um, but yeah, that does suck. Leanne and Kara like have such a beautiful technique. Like they're so just dancey, and it's really amazing to watch them. Emma Malibu Yo's floor routine was really, really good. Is that the one that's based on Breakfast at Tiffany's? I think so, which is funny because Breakfast at Tiffany's is my favorite movie. Um, but yeah, I loved her floor, floor routine. She was a great performer. I loved her music. I loved her dancing. She was great. SUNY on bars was so, 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 like, I think that was my favorite routine to watch because I was closest to the uneven bars out of all the events. And I literally wanted to cry when she was on uneven bars. Like, she is amazing. Like, it doesn't make sense that a human can do that. I feel like it makes you emotional to watch it. I don't know why, but it's just like, she's like flying. Like, seriously. That is all I have to say for day one. Day two will be on Sunday. Tomorrow, I'm gonna see the men competing, which will be cool. I, to be honest, I don't know very much about men's gymnastics, but I have a ticket, so I'm gonna go. Rooting for Michaela. Hope she makes the team. We shall see, but I will see you tomorrow.
Hey guys, okay, so it is Sunday. I'm so excited. Tonight is day two of the women's competition and they're gonna name the team and I seriously cannot wait. Yesterday, I went to the men's competition which was really awesome to watch. To be honest, I don't follow men's gymnastics, but it was still really cool to see them compete. They can do a lot of different things than the women just because obviously their bodies are built different. They have more muscles. So it was just so fun to watch them name the team. I cannot wait for tonight when they name the women's. Um, I'm really excited to see Suni's uneven bars again. I also really like Shailise's floor routine. And yeah, Shailise is amazing. It's really cool watching her in person as well. Yeah, I'm so excited and I'll see you at the competition. Hey guys, so I'm on my way right now to the competition and I'm still, I think it's gonna be Grace. Like, that's my prediction. I really hope it is Grace because she's been my favorite gymnast. Like since I first saw her compete. So yeah, I'm really excited, but I'm also rooting for Michaela and Kayla and everyone. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the f are y'all? I swear it feels like the last few nights. We've been everywhere and back, but I just can't remember it all. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I'm living life right now, man. And this is what I'm going to do till it's over. Till it's over. It's far from over. All right, bottles on me. Long as someone drink it. Never drop the ball. Y'all thinking, making sure the young money ship is never sinking. About to set it all, set it all. Jada Pinkett, I shouldn't have drove. Tell me how I'm getting home. You too fine to be laying down in bed alone. I can teach you how to speak my language. Rosetta Stone. The road to Tokyo starts now. Simone. just got back from the competition. I know I look really bad right now, I'm sorry, but I am so happy because Grace and Michaela made the freaking team. I can't believe it. Like, it was so neck and neck between them and I really, really wanted Grace to make the team so badly and she did it. She came in fourth in the all around and then Michaela made the other individual spot, which I do feel bad for Riley because she fell on bars and a lot of people thought that she was going to get that spot, but unfortunately she didn't. Um, but I'm really, really happy for Michaela. Like, it's just really nice to know that all the work that she put in was worth it because I'm pretty sure it would have really sucked if she took two years off of college to come back, train for the Olympics, and then like make it as an alternate again probably would have been really frustrating. So I'm so glad that she's on that team. I know she's not on the all around, but she's still, she's still an Olympian. So I'm so happy for her. Emily Lee had a really scary fall. I'm sure they showed it on TV. Um, yeah, it was pretty crazy and she got wheeled out on a like, wheelchair and she also got her on the first night as well on uneven bars. So I really hope that she's okay. I'm happy that Leanne, I mean, I know she's an alternate and obviously she wanted to be on the team, but I'm glad that she's an alternate with Kara. 
Grace and Michaela, those were my top two girls. I and I wasn't expecting it to go that way. I didn't I didn't even think of that as an option because I just was like, okay, Riley's gonna be the other individual and then obviously her vault is amazing and I thought she would go on the all round because of her vault. Um, but you know, she has that individual spot and uh, I'm just so excited. The girls are gonna do so amazing in Tokyo. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm shooting this on my phone because I don't have time to film this on my camera, but I just watched the Gymcastic interview where they do a live thing straight after the competition. And yeah, actually my opinions have kind of changed. I mean, I'm still so happy for Grace but they didn't take the highest scoring team. Like Michaela technically should have been on the team because of her vault score. And it doesn't make sense to take Jade and Michaela as plus ones because they're both vaulters. So yeah, it's just kind of stupid because the way that they're doing it, like I understand they don't want like a lawsuit. It's like, it's all about politics, I guess. But the way they're doing it, it's like, okay, then no other competition, as far as the Olympics go, no other competition matters except for trials. Like, so then why even, like, I mean, I know there's other important aspects of the competitions besides how they look for the Olympics, but it's just like, seriously, in terms of the Olympics, nothing else they, they do matters except for what rank they come in at trials. Now I'm upset for Michaela because technically she should be on that four person team or why did they even make it a four person team? It should just be a five person team and then Grace and Michaela could both be on the all around team and then they probably wouldn't have plus ones. But like if they did have a plus one, would they have just taken Michaela because she's the next person in the rankings? I don't know. So yeah, oh, con controversial. Gymnastics is so controversial, unfortunately. But anyways, um, I'm about to leave my hotel and get on the plane. Um, it was an amazing weekend. I'm so happy that I came to St. Louis to see the competition. Um, so yeah.